In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Assist us mercifully with thy help, O Lord, God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the meditation of those mighty acts, whereby thou hast given unto us life and immortality. Through thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise be to thee, O Lord, King of eternal glory. station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And straightway in the morning the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answering said unto them, Thou sayest it. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answerest thou nothing? Behold how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. God spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. O God, who in the life-giving passion of thy Son has taught us that only by walking in the way of the cross may we attain to eternal joys, mercifully grant that as in deep devotion we follow the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, on the road to Calvary, so we may also share in his everlasting victory, who liveth and reigneth world without end. Amen. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers, and they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. The Lord hath laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was smitten for the sins of his people. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose dear, most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, 
third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. O my people, what have I done unto thee, or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me, because I brought thee forth from the land of Egypt. Thou hast prepared a cross for thy Savior. I fed thee with manna in the wilderness forty years, and thou hast scourged me and delivered me up. What more could I have done for thee that I have not done? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before the shearers, so opened he not his mouth. Let us pray. Keep us, we beseech thee, O Lord, with thy perpetual mercy. And because the frailty of man without thee cannot but fall, Keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Whither is thy beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? Whither is thy beloved turned aside, that we may seek him with thee? He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Simeon said unto Mary, A sword shall pierce through thine own soul. Let us pray. Remember, O Lord Jesus Christ, how the soul of Mary thy mother was pierced in the day of thy passion, and grant that she may plead thy mercy for us both now and in the hour of our death, O Savior of the world, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. The fifth station, the cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast As they led him away, they laid hold upon one, Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. It behooveth us to glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in, in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Let us pray. Strengthen us, we beseech thee, O Lord, in the hour of tribulation, that we may bear with patience any suffering which may be visited upon us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. He hath no form nor comeliness. He is despised and rejected of men, and we esteemed him not. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Thou hast not turned thy face from us, neither given thy servants over unto thy displeasure. Let us pray, O God, who by the precious blood of thy Son dost renew us after thy likeness, 
order our goings in thy paths, that we may truly hold fast to the holy gift of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Truly he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, almighty God, that we who by reason of our weakness do falter amid so many adversities may take heart again through the interceding passion of thine only begotten Son, who liveth and reigneth world without end. Amen. Amen. Father, fount of love overflowing, now that I thy sorrow knowing, in thy grief may mourn with thee. That my heart fresh on your name, love of Christ my God attaining, unto him may be. The women of Jerusalem mourn for our Lord. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And there followed him a great company of people and of women which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Daughters of Jerusalem, behold the martyr with the crown. Wherewith the Lord hath crowned him. Let us pray. O God, who dost show mercy rather than anger to those who put their trust in thee, grant us so worthily to mourn the evil which we have done, that we may obtain the grace of thy consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As my son to tribulation, take to purchase my salvation, let me share with thee The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because of thy He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? 
for he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. I am become a worm and no man. A very scorn of men and the outcast of the people. Let us pray, O God, who by the humiliation of thy Son didst raise up a fallen world, grant unto thy faithful people perpetual gladness, that those whom thou hast rescued from the peril of everlasting death may have the fruition of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let him be born with in his side for the sins which glorify him. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then the soldiers took his garments and made four parts, to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be that the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, they parted by raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. They parted by garments among them. And cast lots upon my vesture. Let us pray. Put off from us, O Lord, the old man and his deeds, and put on us the new man, which is created in righteousness and true holiness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Take in the cross thy station, share with thee thy desolation. Help me since I ask of thee. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross, we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And there were also two others, malefactors, led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew, This is the King of the Jews. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my words. Let us pray, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who for the redemption of the world didst ascend the altar of the cross and shed thy precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins, we humbly beseech thee that after our death we may joyfully enter the gates of paradise, who livest and reignest, world without end. Amen. station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? 
Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, this man calleth for Elijah. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love toward mankind hast sent thy Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our salvation. Mercifully grant that as we devoutly recall the precious death of our Redeemer, so we may know thereby that thou hast given unto us eternal life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. All ye that pass by the way, behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. Mine eyes have failed with weeping, my whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth as I behold the cruel death of my son for the enemy hath prevailed against him. Call me not Naomi, that is pleasant, but call me Mara, that is bitter, for the Almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me. Mine eyes do fail with weeping. My heart within me is desolate. Let us pray, O God, in whose passion, according to the prophecy of Simeon, a sword of grief pierced through the well-beloved soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary. Mercifully grant that we who devoutly call to mind her sufferings may obtain the blessed fruit of thy passion, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulcher. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people he is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, ye have a watch, go your way, make it sure as ye can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell. Neither suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Let us pray. 
Grant, O Lord, that as we are baptized into the death of thy blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, so by continual mortifying our corrupt affections, we may be buried with him, and that through the grave and gate of death, we may pass to our joyful resurrection for his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Most Holy Mother, Queen of Sorrows, who didst follow thy beloved Son through all the way of the cross, and whose heart was pierced with a fresh sword of grief at all the stations of that most sorrowful journey. Obtain for us, we beseech thee, O most loving Mother, a perpetual remembrance of our blessed Savior's cross and death, and a true and tender devotion to all the mysteries of his most holy passion. Obtain for us the grace to hate sin even as he hated it in the agony of the garden, to endure wrong and insult with all patience as he endured them in the judgment hall, to be meek and humble in all our trials as he was before his judges, to love our enemies even as he loved his murderers and prayed for them upon the cross, and to glorify God and to do good to our neighbor, even as he did in every mystery of his suffering. O Queen of Martyrs, who by the dolors of thy immaculate heart on Calvary didst merit to share the passion of our most holy Redeemer, obtain for us some portion of thy compassion, that for the love of Jesus crucified, we may be crucified to the world in this life, and in the life to come, may by his infinite merits and thy powerful intercession reign with him in glory everlasting. Amen. Christ, when this world's troubles leave me, through thy mother then receive me to the palm of thee. Contented to be betrayed and given up into the hands of wicked men, and to suffer death upon the cross, who liveth and reigneth, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be.
on his throne of glory in heaven, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, and in the hearts of his faithful people. Remember, O Lord Jesus Christ, how the soul of Mary thy mother was pierced in the day of thy passion, and grant that she may plead thy mercy for us, both now and in the hour of our death, O Savior of the world, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen. Amen. O God, who by the cross and passion of thy Son, Jesus Christ, didst save and deliver mankind, grant that by steadfast faith in the merits of that holy sacrifice, we may find help and salvation, and may triumph in the power of his victory through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, by the example of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, has taught us the greatness of true humility, and dost call us to watch with him in his passion. Give us grace to serve one another in all lowliness, and to enter into the fellowship of his sufferings, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have, have mercy upon us.
Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus, may the heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament, in the most blessed sacrament, be praised, adored, and loved. Be praised, adored, and loved. With grateful affection. With grateful affection. At every moment. At every, every moment. In all the tabernacles of the world. In all the tabernacles of the world. Even to the end of time. Even to the end of time. Amen.